Hello students, <coughs> last week we discussed about computer hardware. Inside the topic or inside the chapter, we discussed about the definition of computer hardware and we also discussed in brief about different four types of hardware. Now let us go to the classification of computer hardware today in this class. There are numerous hardware components, internal as well as external components inside a computer system. Computer hardware can be classified and studied under four basic types, which we have already discussed in the previous topic also. Input device, central processing unit, output device, and storage device. In this class, we will be discussing about input device and central processing unit in detail. So what is an input device? The device is which provides input to the computer in the form of data, instruction, command, responses, and other machine readable signals and guide the computer, perform its tasks are called input devices. Some examples of input devices are keyboard, mouse, scanner, joystick, microphone, barcode reader, etc. So various input devices provides input to the computer in different ways like Keyboard is used to give character input. Mouse gives input to a computer by pointing and clicking. Scanner digitizes hard copy into computerized form. VCR, barcode reader, reads barcodes. And microphone provides audio input to the computer. So different input devices available in a computer system gives input to the computer in different ways. Now let us discuss some of the input device that are available in a computer system. The first one, which is a keyboard. Keyboard is a most common character input device of a computer. A keyboard is one of the primary input device used with a computer system. Similar to an electric typewriter, a keyboard is composed of buttons that create letters, numbers, and symbols, as well as other functions. So keyboard is a most common character input device of a computer system. When you press certain keys on the keyboard, then electric signals are sent to the computer system as input. You can see on the picture, okay, you can see on the picture, there are numbers of keys displayed on the a computer keyboard. So a keyboard consists of different function keys at the top, starting from F1 to F12. All those function keys have different functions inside a computer system. Below that, we have numeric keys with special symbols. You can see on the picture, there are special keys along with numbers. Then below that, we have a QWERTY keyboard or alphabetic keys starting from A to Z. Then on the right side, we have numeric keys starting from 0 to 9. Then we have cursor control keys with four directional arrows. Above that, we have some special keys like home, end, phase up, phase down. We have null lock keys like num lock, scroll lock, caps lock. Then we have other special keys as well like tab, caps, shift, control, halt. These are all the keys which are available on the keyboard. Next input device is mouse. All of us are used to with mouse already. Mouse is a handheld pointing device that detects two dimensional motion relative to a surface. So it is a handheld device you can keep on a palm. So it is also called palm sized pointing device. This motion is typically translated into a motion of pointer on a display, which allows the smooth control of the graphical user interface of a computer. Today, many computer mice use wireless technology and have no wire. So there are different types of mouse available in the market. Initially, there were two button mouse, one right button and the left button. Then we have three button mouse, right, left, and the scroll button. Finally, we have optical mouse these days with two buttons and a scroll button at the middle. So to scroll off 
or down on the page, you can just scroll on the scroll buttons available on the mouse. Next input device we'll be discussing here is joystick. A joystick is an input device that can be used for controlling the movement of the cursor or a pointer in a computer device. The pointer or cursor movement is controlled by maneuvering a lever on the joystick by moving into different directions. There is a lever you can see on the picture. A lever is available and you can rotate the lever in 260 degrees. So as soon as you rotate the lever in different directions, the mouse cursor will move into different directions in the screen. And there will be a thumb press at the top of the joystick to which instruction can be fed into the computer system. The input device is mostly used for gaming applications and sometimes in graphic applications. A joystick can also be useful or helpful as an input device for people with movement disabilities. Those persons who cannot move, who cannot use all, all your fingers, then joystick can be a very useful tool as an input device. So you can see on the picture, you can see different components of a joystick with a label for format. You can uh, study this, like there will be a stick, base, trigger, extra buttons, auto fire switch, the throttle, hat switch, a uh, suction cup, and these are all the components of a joystick. Next input device we'll be discussing is a barcode reader. A barcode reader or a scanner is an optical device that can read printed barcodes, decode the data contained in the barcode and send the data to a computer. It consists of a light source and a lens and a light sensor translating for optical impulses into the electronic electrical signals. So a barcode reader is an optical device that works with light technology and it reads the barcodes. Barcodes are the series of white and black lines printed on the keyboards. So this barcode reads those barcodes and send all the information about the goods to the computer. Okay, this is, this is all about our input device. Now, let us come to our new next topic that is next type of computer hardware, which is central processing unit or CPU in short. The CPU is the brain of a computer system that processes instruction given by the user. It is the primary component of a computer and called as central processor or main processor and it basically consists of three different units. The first one is control unit. The control unit is a component of a computer or a CPU that directs the operation of the processor. Arithmetic and logical units performs all the arithmetic and logical operation in the computer. And finally we have memory unit. Memory unit stores data, instruction and other results obtained from the processing. Now let us learn more about CPU. The CPU is the primary component of a computer that processes instructions. It runs the operating system and applications receiving input from the user or active software programs. It processes the data and produces output, which may be stored by an application or displayed on the screen. So once the user gives instruction to the computer, all those instructions are processed by the CPU with its three different units. And finally, the result is displayed to the user or stored in the storage device of a computer system. The CPU contains at least one processor, which is the actual chip inside the CPU that performs calculation. So CPU is a general understanding, but inside a CPU, there will be a processor. A computer might contain only one single processor or numbers of processors. Most CPUs only add one processor, but now it is common for a single CPU to have at least two processors or processing cores. A CPU with two processing cores is called a dual core processor and those which were modeled with Two cores are called 
quad core processors or quad core CPUs. High end CPUs may have six cores or even eight cores, which are termed as hexa core processors or octa core processors. So, as you can, you can see in the diagram, I have attached the diagram. This is small square shaped biscuit side chip is called the processor. And in general term, a general understanding, we call this processor as a CPU. I hope all of you have understood the chapter uh, or the topics. This is all we'll be discussing in this class. And on the next class, we'll be discussing about uh, different other types of hardware like output device and storage devices. Till then, stay safe. Thank you very much.